basically that uh, Trump doesn't really prioritize relationships. In the short term, this is a massive boost to the far right and to the sort of populist movements in Europe and farther afield because there's no bigger price than the presidency of the United States. And someone who is, uh, has cast himself as an anti-establishment outsider has taken that prize. So that is psychologically a major boost. He's been less glowing in his descriptions of uh, there are several issues with the special relationship that the UK will be watching very carefully after Trump is inaugurated. One is security cooperation. Trump takes a very different view to uh, US policy towards Russia in particular, towards NATO, towards issues of sort of shared European and American security concern. Um, he will probably maintain the intelligence cooperation, which is a very important aspect of that. Uh, but on the whole, his views diverge not only from Hillary Clinton's, but from the bipartisan consensus of foreign policy for the last 70 years. About Theresa May specifically, at least publicly, but he certainly... The issue is that Trump in foreign policy and in many things uh, appears to consider uncertainty and unpredictability as important foreign policy considerations, as if important foreign policy attributes. Uh, and so there's going to be limited extent to which the British government can sort of plan for or uh, do anything more than quickly adapt to uh, changing policies that Trump will institute once in office. ...to the European Union, but because he saw Brexit as a sort of populist up.